Understanding the Erdős Number, a Mathematical Legacy. Hello everyone, today we're diving into a unique and fascinating concept within the world of mathematics, the Erdős Number. This intriguing number links people through their collaborative efforts in publishing mathematical papers. So, sit tight as we unravel the meaning and significance of this mathematical phenomenon. The Erdős number, named after the prolific Hungarian mathematician Paul Erdős, represents the collaborative distance between an author and Erdős in the authorship of mathematical papers. Paul Erdős was known for his extensive collaboration, having written papers with over 500 different mathematicians. Here's how it works. If you've co-authored a paper with Erdős, your Erdős number is 1. If you've collaborated with someone who has an Erdős number of 1, yours is 2, and so forth. If you've never written a paper connected to Erdős Extensive Collaboration Network, you don't have an Erdős number. Erdős numbers go beyond just a count. They symbolize the collaborative spirit in the mathematics community. They also highlight connections among researchers, encourage collaboration, as some strive to lower their Erdős number, serve as an informal measure of a mathematician's collaborative reach. Interestingly, the concept has transcended mathematics and entered popular culture. It's similar to the Six Degrees of Kevin Bacon game in the film industry. Just as actors aim to connect themselves to Kevin Bacon through shared films, mathematicians use Erdős numbers to connect to Erdős through shared scholarly papers. Calculating one's Erdős number can be a complex task, requiring a deep dive into the history of co-authored mathematical papers. There are databases and tools available that help track these numbers, reflecting the deep interconnectedness of the academic world. Thank you for joining me in exploring the Erdős number. This little number has a big impact on the way we see relationships and collaboration in mathematics. Whether you're a budding mathematician or just curious about the subject, I hope you found this video enlightening. Until next time, Keep connecting the dots in your own field of study.